Hey, yo. And you're watching the Comics Related Madness Network. Uh-huh. So come get some. Cromcon. Cromcon. begun to defile myself. I'll make you famous. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Tanner Hurley, I'll make you famous. Together with the hostess with the Moses. Doc. Doc. <laughs> so just sit right down, relax, open your ears real wide and say, give it to me straight, doctor. I can take it. I, I know what you guys are all thinking. What is going on? Unfortunately, Doc couldn't make it today. Um, <laughs> so we have the wonderful, the amazing Lori Calcaterra. <laughs> Bringing my inner doc to you today with the cigarette in the rich, 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 rich. rich. I love it. I don't have a bald cap or we could have done a little better, but. Oh, man. Yeah. Impromptu. It was I also so don't want him to watch this later and be like, what the heck, Lori? <laughs> <laughs> we love you, doc. We wish you were here. I'm just the imitation doc in the meantime. <laughs> so how you been what what's new what's how's the weather and everything over there is uh, texas it's been cold for texas we actually um yesterday day before it was like 37 degrees which is like unheard of in october for us like we don't get into the 30s until it's like january so oh, but it's like typically it's like 50s in the morning and then it warms up to like the 70s so i'm not complaining one day cold didn't kill me um, but yeah, we're, we're all right. We're not snowing or anything crazy. How's Georgia? Uh, it's about the same. We, we ended up yeah. getting the, the first cold front. So it was like in the 30s, 35, 37, something like that this morning. Uh, it was Ugh. chilly. It was, yeah. <laughs> you know, we're not used to that. Mm -mm. Yeah, this is nope. coastal Georgia. <laughs> That's why yeah. I, got, I got the hoodie on today. Yeah, I got the two layers as well. Long sleeve, short sleeve combo. Got to. It's like, that's how people know I'm from the north. It's like, why are you wearing so many layers? Because when it warms up later, you take the one shirt off and you only got the, you know what I mean? So you can, you are prepared for all the weathers. Every year. I mean, I've been down here for just shy of like six years, but every, every, you know, winter slash, you know, fall type period. When you know all the the real Georgians start donning their their down coats and everything, I usually show up in shorts. typically a, a hoodie, yeah. some shorts, and flip flops. <laughs> and every year, and it it doesn't matter that I always wear my hat with my dirty D on there. <laughs> you know, people are always like, "May I ask you where you're from?" <laughs> you know? And I'm like, not here. <laughs> yeah. Do this. No. 
Detroit. Detroit. Detroit versus everybody. Lake right. effect snow. You have no effect oh on me here. <laughs> Lake effect snow is terrible for those of you that don't know. It's like you're expected to get an inch and a half to two inches of snow. Lake snow, 16 inches. Like, 16 inches. <laughs> Hope you weren't planning on driving today. It's like the difference between that that old Raskin Bass Jack Frost and, you know, who's all cute and lovable. <laughs> and then like the horror Jack Frost. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, oh, that's yeah, your, Chicago, mm, you're getting it. Yeah. Chicago for sure, man. They get pounded with lake effect everything. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know how they do it. It's... It's windy there. It's cold there. They get a lot of snow. They get slush. It's just a miserable place, man. And I was just talking about this with one of my friends where it's like, when you're not used to being in a cold state, it's like here in Texas, it's like we're warm from March until probably October. And I call warm like 70, 60, 70s, right? Once it gets like 40, then it's cold, right? So we're cold like um, maybe the end of November, December, January, and then February. So maybe three months. Last year on Christmas, we were outside in shorts. It was 82. Um, so it just depends. But when you're in like Michigan, right, it's cold for eight months. And like those months where like the sun don't shine, like you get up before it's light and you come home when it's dark and it's just so <laughs> depressing that, that, yeah, they did, uh, they did that, whatchamacallit, sad, seasonal, Something disorder, seasonal, what is it? Oh, that? yeah, I know what you're talking something. about. Seasonal and up. something disorder where yeah. it's like, yeah, you're depressed because you're inside and in the dark all day. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like my hair? Oh. I am wearing a wig today. I'm cosplaying as Doc. <laughs> no, Doc is alive and well, everyone. Just to let you in the chat know. <laughs> Taking the day off. <laughs> so you get me instead. Aren't you lucky? You get fake cigarettes and... And weapons and um, all sorts of sarcasm, over caffeination, all that good stuff. You were twirling the butterfly knife earlier. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this one is vague because I usually twirl something, right? So I have, you know, this was my go-to. Like this one is this one's actually sharp though. The other two that I have up here are trainers, but this one's this one is actually sharp. It'll rip you. Um, so I usually have this one. And then I was like, you know, I wanted to change up my arsenal. So I brought the Karambit. This one's a trainer, but still really nice. Like my buddy, um, Taki Kabir, uh, owns this little weapons forge and he nice. makes trainer trainers and life blades and stuff. But, um, what I love about this is because usually Karambits are giant. Oh, that's Paul. Hello, Paul. <laughs> I know that's Paul because he said uh, potato peeler. No, Doc is still alive and well. I didn't get him with the potato peeler, but uh, this weekend is coming, Paul. And uh, Paul's Paul's going to be at Cowtown. And uh, his booth, the one right behind it, is full of, like, knives and weapons. Like, I checked it out. I was like, that's where Paul is. This is where all the weapons are. Oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm going to go visit Paul. Um, so, yeah. So, what I like about this one is that he he took the measurements of my hand. So, oh, this is nice. custom made exactly for my grip, which is so cool. You know, because usually with karambits, I got little hands. So, like, the grips are too big and um, this hole is usually too big. Um, that's what he said. And uh, <laughs> so, it's it just makes it really comfortable. So, I flipped this one around and, like, that one's okay. But, yeah, like, the... The butterfly is where it really gets distracting because this bad boy, it's like I could do all sorts of, you know, like, right? So, I mean, well, yeah, like, I mean, we were just, you know, shooting the shit, and I'm like, I'm so mesmerized. Exactly. I was like, no one will listen to what we have to say. Maybe that's a, a show where, like, nobody shows up on the morning, Brie. I'll just be like, I'm going to do butterfly tricks for the next 25 minutes. <laughs> right? So and that'll be. Doc, you've changed. Shadowhawk, how you doing? Margo, I saw you earlier. TJ, I'm it. If I said that, I hope I said that correctly. That's Paul. That's Paul Gomez. Okay. <laughs> so he he's going to protect himself from me at Cowtown. <laughs> he said he's, either that or he's just going to run away. See, I thought the Facebook user was Paul. I'm, I'm getting everyone Isn't mixed that, up Isn't that, aren't there. they all? Well, that one says Facebook user too. Oh. Isn't it? Yes. That's Paul. 
At least that's my best. Hey, Hal. Hello to everyone in the chat. See? <laughs> Dang. You guys, he's not even here to protect himself. <laughs> 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 uh, next time I'm gonna wear a shirt that says Doc. <laughs> this is <laughs> I mean. So, you know, with everything kind of being short notice, I was thinking we would theme everything around Halloween since tis the season, right? Tis the season. And I like spooky things all year round. Um, but the, this is this is like my season right here. Um, so I dug out a few <laughs> things. <clears throat> you know, I figured we could probably talk movies. We could talk some comic books. Um, I would mix the great things in comic history with uh, my love of old Warren magazines. Cool. Look at that guy. Oh, I know, Ooh. right? Nice. Yeah. Dang light. Here, unbigging yourself. Yeah. Look there at you that. go. Hey, nice. Fanta, how are you? We're still going to do the memes of the day. so I always look forward to that in your guys' show. I'm usually running around doing stuff, so I was lucky I was free today to hop on. But like, I usually try to come on just so I can see the meme show because it's so funny. <laughs> it does make me laugh. Well, I, I went um, – I, I always go themed now. So all my yeah. – so I figured, okay, well, we're doing horror. So what would be a good theme to go along with horror? Disney. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Why? Disney memes. <laughs> Why not? Why not? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Because Disney we'll and horror are so spectacularly on the same wavelength. Most yeah. of the time they don't, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I saw one that was funny, and it had uh, like the the only one like true horror movie, and and they edited it was like the Black Cauldron, and yeah. uh, that could have been so much creepier. Right. Hiya, Facebook user. <laughs> <laughs> but no, then Someone I saw who one. Actually knows me because I'm dark today. What were you gonna say? <laughs> No, I, I saw a meme and it said the the Disney Princess B team and it had like all the you know the the girl from Wreck It Ralph and the princess Alanwe from Black Cauldron just all all the you know lesser known the the ones that didn't make it big. You know, <laughs> you know do you know since we were just talking about this since okay. uh, Hulu is technically owned by Disney, the new Hellraiser. Cenobite is a Disney princess. Yes. <laughs> you know, like, like, there you go. There's your horror princess. Oh, right it's Abbo. Hmm? Abbo. <laughs> it's a Facebook user. It's ah, okay. Abbo Grizzly. Gotcha. Which, if you haven't mm -hmm. seen their book, Splinters of Yggdrasil, oh yeah, my yeah, gosh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, it's one of my personal favorites. I, I'm always like like pimping out their stuff. <laughs> I love the commercial where they're like, how does it fly through space? Magic. Magic. <laughs> you know? Because magic. Bringing you sex, sass, and style. Buckle up and unlock your imagination for a fun adventure with these death-dealing dames. They sail the galaxy in search of spoils. The most dangerous acquisition, and the most fruitful, are the legendary Splinters of Yggdrasil. The splinters are magical artifacts forged from the Tree of Life that wreak havoc on the universe. The missions are perilous, but the bounty is glorious. Enjoy our hyper-fictional wonderland. How is a pirate ship sailing through space? Cause magic. How do they heal so quickly after battle? Cause magic. How are they able to communicate through jewelry? Cause magic. It's all about the Cause magic. <laughs> I, wish, I wish I had that in a bunch of short clips so that I could just play the appropriate one whenever the subject came up. You know what I mean? Cause magic. But, hey, what can <laughs> Man, if I could communicate through a belly belly button ring, that would be awesome. I know, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cause magic. 
Because magic. <laughs> I'm just going to start saying that to my kids when they were like, how come I have to blah, blah, be like, because magic. Well, you know, it's funny. I actually used to say that stuff to my kids. Really? You know, when they because they'd ask why all the time. And I got tired of it. So it's like, you know, oh, it's magic. Right. <laughs> so I love when I heard that because magic. I was like, yeah. oh, my gosh, it takes me back. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Shuffle. What's going on here? Yeah. Tanner's head on Doc. <laughs> <laughs> there. Now you can represent. <laughs> See if I, can... I know. I was like, go the other way. There you go. Yep. There you go. Here, we'll put the cigarette in there. Ready? <laughs> Can't do it. <laughs> there you go. Now I'll represent. Except I don't have a cigarette. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I don't think his picture has a cigarette in there either. So. Oh, really? Yeah, no. Or a coffee. We need to I, update I do it have now. coffee. And I, I – because I know how slow my Keurig is, so I brewed two cups of coffee to Ooh. have – here I can just grab it when I need it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, tired of always being late when we go on break. <sighs> but hey, so you're a comic reader, right? Yes. Okay. Do you remember your first horror comic? First horror comic. Um, I've read quite a few horror comics. I can't remember which one was the first one. I remember the memorable ones, like. Okay. I'm not usually scared by comics or books um, or movies for that matter. Like, well, you know what I mean? Like I love horror. So I'm just, I'm in there for the adrenaline rush, but doesn't really scare me. Mm -hmm. um, there is a comic that scared the shit out of me. So that one's like, um, that one's always high on my list and that's witches. I don't know. Let me see. Let me, witches. You know which one I'm talking about? Man, that sounds Have familiar. I think yeah, actually, I did read that one. By Scott Snyder? Yeah, yep. Um, Scott, Scott Snyder can do creepy. I mean. Oh, my God. So, I mean, it's one thing to, like, look at the, it, it, you know what I mean? Like, in a movie, you know what's coming. The music will tell you what's coming. You know, mm -hmm. um, it's another thing to read a novel where it's like you're creating the story in your head. You're not seeing what the artist necessarily wants you to see, but they're trying to describe it as much as possible. But with a graphic novel, it's like you 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 see exactly what they want you to see, and the buildup is there. You don't have the cues from the music. You know what I mean? And it's just, it's just like that one. That one messed me up. I was just like, this is this is very scary. There's a lot of really creepy moments. Um, the characters are extremely memorable, and a big twist at the end. So, witches by Scott Snyder. Um, I think there's a few of them. Yeah, I want to say there's a few of them. Because he did that before he started doing his DC run on Batman, which was creepy as hell, too. I mean, they, yes. they cut the face off the Joker and then he wore That's it. the one. <laughs> you know? so, right? Yeah. It's like, I feel this man. Like, I totally get what he's trying to do because <laughs> um, I'm always looking for that level of shock and awe in my comics as well when it comes to horror. So that one um, really stood out. The other one that kind of stood out was um, Nailbiter. Nailbiter was good. Have you read Nailbiter? I have. Who's that by? Let's just double check. I read it on. It was a Vertigo title, right? Yeah. Before they uh, changed it... everything. Kate, how image. are you? It's Image. Oh, hmm. they have another one. They have a Nailbiter hmm. Returns. Oh, I didn't even know up. about that. I'm not going to lie. I don't pay attention much to DC, Marvel, or Image um yeah anymore. i'm just I'm, I'm not a big fan of what images is, is doing with with comics most of the time <laughs> if, if know, it ain't <laughs> what were you gonna say i was just gonna say like if it ain't like the the original guys and even even then like i and I, I, you know, I'm not like talking shit just to talk shit, but like Eric Larson has really gone downhill because, I mean, you're yeah. talking to the guy who used to own every or still does, you know, every freaking Savage Dragon all the way up to like, you know, last year. Um, But man, it's hard. It's yeah, like yeah, image yeah. came out to combat, you know, Marvel <laughs> and DC and be like, we're going to let our comic book people continue to own their comics. You know what I mean? And they can do what they want with them. We will help, 
right? That's how they started as being like an indie comic mm -hmm. publishing company. And it's grown to the point where now it's like, they're almost like the other two. Yeah. Not quite, but they're close. So now it's like, okay, well then we need something different now, you know, to still help us indie comic people who are still coming up out of the trenches. Like, Hey, I got a great story. I got a great product. Help me help you. And then the readers will come, you know what I mean? But it's so hard to pitch and it's so hard to just continually push. A lot of people don't go in for the long haul. They just like, all right, I got my second. No, I'm out. But it's like, no, you're going to get 12 no's. <laughs> <laughs> what if we told you at number 13, it would be the lucky number. You know, you never know. But it's like, you got to just keep pushing. I agree. Like things, things, the only thing that's constant is change, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like they start out with good intentions and then it's going to change into something else. It's like Netflix did the same. It started out like sending DVDs, right? And now they're a streaming service and they they pioneer all that streaming stuff. Now everybody does streaming. You know what I mean? So it's just like everything changes when someone gets a new platform, a new idea. So by the time you figure one out, there'll be a new one. <laughs> I'll just it's say true. that. <laughs> But like, you know, the, the thing that I have with like image comics nowadays is they're they're very cookie cutter. It almost seems like yeah. everything kind of looks the same. And I don't know. I don't like that. You know, I like I like variety. <laughs> you know, really maybe maybe, maybe one day I'm in a Liefeld mood and I want to buy Liefeld. Yeah. And then, you know, other days, you know, I want something that's like low or something you know right. one of those type Which books is really different right yeah <clears throat> yeah i love low the art style in that is just on its own pedestal you know what i mean it's just really different um kate come on in yeah let's see you need i'll dm you the the link here Ooh, we can outnumber the men folk <laughs> It doesn't take much here. <laughs> well, I'm so used to the Tuesday morning brew where it's like me versus all the guys. Oh, it's like, Allison, don't leave me. And like Allison goes and then <laughs> you guys are talking about how far back from the toilet you can stand and still pee in the toilet. And I'm just like, wow. <laughs> like, I'll just drink my coffee. Okay. I just DM'd you the link. So hopefully we will see you shortly. What scary comics do you like? Um, well, you know, what I was going to bring up was, uh, you know, I cut my teeth on the old, um, like, DC's House of Mystery. And I'm, I'm okay. talking, like, you know, Neil Adams type drawn stuff. Um, the old Charleston uh, comics. Um, but then, you know, you segue into Ghost Rider. And, yeah. You know, the Midnight Suns was, was a big one growing up. Um, but nowadays, uh, oh, and honestly, I was going to segue into that. That got me into like the creepy magazines. Um, yeah. So got really big into Warren and everything. Um, the Vampirellas, things like that. Um, I, I just thought were amazing. And nowadays it's like indie stuff, you know, mm -hmm. honestly. Uh, man, what did I, I just got the, uh, I'm waiting for it to come in. I got caught up on uh, the Gorgon. I haven't read that one. Oh man, let's see. Good. Yeah, I was like, show it off, man. Like it just wrapped up. London Gothic, eh? Nick writes a disturbing comic. I can't wait for you guys to get further into my comic because mm. I'm I just I just I'm really looking forward to that someone being like, Louie, are you okay? <laughs> like I just <laughs> read what you wrote. Are you sure you're all right? And that's how I know, like, I've done my job. So What's Jay the Gorgon about? Lori, um, Lori, Lori, the concept of your book did that for me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Actually, Thank you. I got that. I I'll take share. that as a compliment. Here's what we'll do. I'll share screen after I get in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll play the video. I mean, unfortunately, the... Uh, the Kickstarter is already up. Volume three just came out, and yeah. that's the first one that I ever saw. Um, Oof. but I was like, you know, we're gonna go back and we're gonna check these out. 
What's up, Quentin? Sup, sup, sup. <sighs> Where's all of my archive stuff? Here we go. Waiting. I'm going to stretch. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I've been told all my comics are horror, but that wasn't my intent. This must be Paul again. <laughs> yes, it's you, Paul Gomez. I feel you. It's like sometimes I write stuff and I'm like, what? <laughs> like, that's fine. And people are like, it is not fine. I'm like, totally fine. See, because I think like potato peeler is funny, but like then Paul just runs away from me. So that was his idea, though. So the story behind that is, I, well, I forget what we were talking about. I was on a show with Paul and he said something about um, someone was grossed out by the idea of a potato peeler sk skinning somebody. And I just, and I laughed and he was like, Lori, I'm afraid of you. <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, hey, I got the share, share screen up. Yeah, let's Whenever see it. Ready. Yeah, yeah. Is it working? You know how to do it? Do you need me to put it in? I, Add to stream. How about that? Does that help? There we go. <laughs> I was like, oh, you need me. Yes, yes. I don't I don't have all the controls. You don't? I'm, I'm just the pretty face. Oh, okay, pretty face. I'll, I'll hook you up. I thought you had all the buttons. No, no, I don't. <laughs> all right. Look at that picture. Ooh. Yeah, that's the Gorgon right there. In America's concrete jungles, a new neurotic poison is king. Or narcotics. See, narcotic. Jesus. A new narcotic see, poison is king. In the jungles of, of Colombia. It's, it's venomous. venomous queen. <clears throat> what? And then I want to say oh. in volume three, she's brought over to the States. Oh, fudge. So the drug yeah. comes from this thing? Um. I, I don't know. I haven't read it yet. You know, Ooh. I just saw I just saw the, you know, the images the you know and some panels from uh from the inside more? comic um oh, dang it Ooh, there's volume one. Ah, oh, he's not showing us what she looks like well she's got like a serpent lower half because in volume three Oh, she's, she's sitting Medusa. on a throne. Oh, here it is. Bam. Volume three. Yeah, I, mean, I saw that. I saw that. It came with a print of this picture. And I was like, oh, yes. It's Medusa. I think. Yeah. Now, of course, I haven't read it either. But the Gorgons, it's like um, oh, here we Greek go. mythology, right? And she's yeah. a serpent. She looks pretty freaky. Oh. Rising rebels. She turns people to stone. So I wonder how he's using her to create a narcotic. That's interesting. But you know, J Photos who brought you 1968 and uh or it's 68 this Rising Columbia. Rebels. What what pops? It's set in Colombia and um so I'm not I I don't know if it's just what did Medusa relocate? What did we? What happened here? Um, <laughs> is like Maybe it's set, Medusa's cousin. It's in the jungles of Colombia, so obviously, you know, we're getting a narcotic, and a venomous narcotic that she's going to destroy the world. I think they, I think they awake her. If if I remember reading like the the little blurbs about it, they awaken her. And, well, that's uh, dumb. Why would yeah, you yeah, right. that thing? <laughs> like, don't <laughs> poke the bear because i so, like bears this one ooh, ooh that looks good think, um this one is cray cray okay let's see it um i i'm gonna have to share a different screen obviously because they got this stupid can't jump from one screen to another hmm. um but there's a sneak preview here where you can actually see the pages of the first 20 pages of the book you can see the oh uh, damn Look at the color scheme, man. Oh, dude. And throughout the book, it changes for different, you know. Oh, man. This this is really good. But let me tell you what. Um, 
Oh, that's, there's some that's disturbing really good stuff. coloring. Look at, that, look at the nose break. Ha -ha. Look at the nose break right there. Is that beautiful? Not yeah. nearly bloody enough, but <laughs> I like it. it. Uh, I'm just I mean, it's pretty accurate. <laughs> oh, yeah. The knife through the hand. I like it, that. It just gets more and more as it goes on. They get down in the sewers where the really creepy shit's going ah, on. Ah. Um, yeah, you know, they're slicing oh, they're gonna eat him. people on the table. And, and, you know, oh, yeah, we just opened this guy all up. Oh, hooray. Oh. Yeah. And there's God, some, you know. Those it's colors pretty, are just really, yeah. really nice. It it's pops, pretty good book. Pops. I like it. I'm ready yeah. for the next one. I was impressed. I told Nick, I was like, oh, yeah, I like this. Oh. There you go. Take an arm. Nice. Any arm. <laughs> that arm belongs Need to Need a you. hand. <laughs> there you go. Uh -huh. London Dots. <laughs> go check it out. Looks badass. Uh, London-Gothic.co.uk. Go check it out. Heck yeah. Uh, did you see the advisory on it? it was like I did. <laughs> horrific content. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do that. That I'm like horrific content. It's here. Right. This is my house, and I have had all I'm gonna take of you. Step right up and don't be shy. It's so degrading to women. Oh. What do you mean? She's got the whip. You know how to whistle, don't you, Steve? You just put your lips together and blow. Hey, how are you, Kate? I'm alive. I'm alive. Thank God. Hi, Thank God. <laughs> you doing okay? There? I've been taking um yeah. I've been taking pictures of loved ones that I've lost over the hurricane and posting them. Oh man. Oh, man. Sorry to hear about that. But you made it. Everything's okay there. You got all the swimming things out of your house and stuff? Yes, it's just yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. But I lo I lost Yeah, they were in the street. Fish Frogs. <laughs> Man. Well, I hope the families, everybody down there gets all the help they need. I know you said something the other day about you were filling out a form, a FEMA form. What? Correct. Did we yeah, lose her? FEMA form. Oh, there she I was is. not in the flood zone and some things I acquired and forgot to put on the... Uh, insurance list oh man man i hope that everybody down there is okay i hope everybody yeah. down there that we know is being taken care of because i know i keep checking in with my peeps too like how you doing you got power yet do you need anything our big thing is uh, milk cream So you're like, having to you drink your coffee black? <laughs> That's the best <laughs> way to drink it. No, I had to resolve to powder coffee. No, I had to resort to that powder creamer. Oh, my God. It's like paste. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Yeah. Nope, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. <laughs> I've done it. It's, uh, you just got to make sure you... Um, I have one of those coffee frothers. Milk frother, use uh -huh. that. That'll get it. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm I'm ha having flashbacks to you know when I was out in the field, and it's like you got regular powdered coffee, milk. and it's that powdered milk or <laughs> whatever it is, and everything, and it's like I'm not going to use this. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, no, it flashbacks. It's like I'm not even going to. Nope. <laughs> Don't touch it. Don't bring it in the house. No, thank you. I mean, I tried once, and you know, there's all those chunks I'm sitting on top yeah. of. Oh, and it, it's if your coffee is not hot, it does not work. Like oh, no. Coffee, no, no, no. I hate yeah, I if it's cold coffee. coffee. <laughs> like well, see, I like cold work. coffee. I, I, I'm weird I like that. <laughs> I usually I brew a pot and I'll have a cup in the morning hot and I'll have the rest of it in the afternoon. And I start to there slow down go. and on some ice. So make my Do you guys coffee. know what tomorrow is? Friday. 
Tomorrow is October 21st. And three years ago, tomorrow is the day we created the comic related madness. Really? Cool. It'll be the oh, birthday. Awesome. Where is the, that's where's the, the day the we pause? Excuse me? Where's the pause? I can't hear you. Where is the applause? Oh, the applause. I don't have one of those things. Can't hear you like ice <laughs> coffee. <laughs> yeah, Q, I, I do. I do. <laughs> I will drink. That doesn't uh, make him less of a man. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to give a little background because what had happened is, is that I had been in a few different Facebook groups and I used to be a very, like I am now, I, I was out there always posting, always contributing to the group, right? Showing stuff off, whatever. I was one of the major contributors in the group. And one day I got up and I was kicked out of the group. Oh, man. And I was like, what? what? Yeah, you know, and it was like, all right, motherfuckers. And I was like, to the point where that had been like the third or fourth group that I'd been kicked out of for trying to promote indie comics. Okay. Basically for <laughs> promoting indie comics. That's why I got kicked out of the group. And it's like, I was tired of getting kicked out of groups for, for promoting people. And I was like, man, fuck Facebook. I ain't doing this shit no more, right? About three days later, which happened to be October 21st, I was like, you know what? Fuck that. I'm going to make my own goddamn group. And everybody's going to be able to promote each other and do whatever the hell they want when it comes to networking and promotions. And that's what we did. And the first hundred members were, I mean, the people that jumped in in the beginning were some amazing people. Brian Polito, Greg Horn. There was just some awesome people that joined the group right away, lent credibility to what I was doing. Uh, a few months later, in April, we were doing CromCon 1, and Brian Polito was there. There were so many cool people there at the first one, and we just kept doing it and kept doing but it. Kept doing I know it. he doesn't he doesn't need the support, but he's going to get it. There's well, see, Hell, Hell right. Witch is going on right now on Kickstarter. Yeah. And, so and, see, if, and Brian's one of them people that he, he doesn't come out every month to CromCon and promote what he's doing because he doesn't want to step on the little guy's shoes. He comes out once a year, hangs out with us, you know, and we totally appreciate that. He comes out to the anniversary show every year, but I don't right. hit him up every month. I know you got a right. Kickstarter, Brian. Right. You want to come out? Um, everybody knows Brian's got <laughs> Everybody knows. You know, everybody knows the Kickstarter is live. Anything they don't know. I share his stuff in the group and whatnot, but I mean, he doesn't need me out there. You know, he's like, he does just fine. Brian good at what he does. Yeah. You know? um, and and I love him and Francesca. They're, they're awesome people. They're amazing you know? people. Um, I'm going out. They're definitely going to make the road show, you know, one of the trips to the Cool. to the southwest for the road oh you show. got I, to i got to go hang out with with brian for a minute you know um he was one of like i said the first people that lent credibility to what i was trying to do you know you know he was actually one of the first people to to give brent uh, billy tucci a job he did billy tucci did a uh a pinup that was ran in in lady death i think brian oh. was brian was one of the people that gave a lot of people their first big break you know, I mean, oh, yeah. he, he definitely spreads the cover love around. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I tried to keep up with it until recently. <laughs> Did not have the financial backing for that one. But Lord well, knows I, mean, I tried. For, for Brian, it's like you can always pick his stuff up through the ball. Through the oh, exactly. Exactly. You, know, exactly. you can always pick his stuff up. So I'm just saying, like, there's so much content. Yeah. I love it. I know, I have the whole but, you know, I got I got that completist mentality, so I'm like, oh, I got to get this one. I got to get this one. Drawer, a complete drawer in the fucking filing cabinet <laughs> of just Brian shit. Rich, Not to uh, the wall, hey. you know. hello, hello. Welcome to the coffee hello. shop, Professor Rich. Uh, Professor uh, you Rich, look, you look like trash. What happened to you? He's what? He's good. what are you talking about? <laughs> the fuck? What is you? He's got, he's got the five o'clock shadow going on there. I, you know what the hell? 
Are you dapper? A, you know, if you know, Kate, if you're gonna try and get down my pants, you gotta come in an entirely different direction, sweetie. Yeah, I mean, sure. come on, man. <laughs> it's like poop you, in you, your you, hair. You your want hair some like... of this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We need the. Disclaimer. Yeah, two minutes, Rich. Two <laughs> read it again. Two minutes. It's like, geez, here wow. we go, man. I'm just saying. Rich, rich, rich. <laughs> See, Doctor didn't even have to be here. We can just play all of his Man, memes. No. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the guy that Jorge Masvidal beat in like a second or something like that. It's like one punch and died. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Uh, hi, Kate. How are you too, sweetie? Uh, my hair is awesome. What the hell are you talking about? My hair is awesome. <laughs> my hair looks so great. is my face. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I'm I'm floating along here. It's 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 okay. You're you're flirting or floating along? Floating. Floating yeah. along uh, in the river. She's she's definitely they fucking float floating down sure. here. They, they all flirt <laughs> towards my direction. <laughs> How are you, beautiful people? What's going on? Nothing much. We were gonna do a, a Halloween theme. Brought up the uh, the topic of uh, horror comics. That you got into, okay. and I, do you remember the first like horror comic that you ever got into, or did you? Even, oh God, or were you even it's a into long it? time ago. Um, <laughs> God, I um, Jesus, I was about five or six. That was one of the first horror comics I remember. It was uh, Chiller Comics, or something. Yeah, it was about some sort of those. yeah. It was about some sort of demon that was rising from the water, but it was kind of like a. A maritime version of the telltale heart you okay. know when the guy oh, okay. like he murdered someone he murdered someone threw him in the water ah. and um you know they sank to the bottom and stuff like that but you know there were a bunch of couple of police officers or something like that and he went insane and he jumped into the river or the water and he just you know the last image was just his hand reaching up in the water and um that was it oh yeah hi 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 quentin Thank you. Sorry, I didn't notice it. So everybody needs to check this out since, you know, um, everybody's here. <laughs> how far, how close are you? Uh, we're at ninety percent as of this morning, so, so close. We've got about ten days left. It's usually like right around now where it starts to pick up again. So, so we're hoping. Okay, but it was what's funny. Your, what's your I total so far? Uh, I'm at forty-one hundred five. Oh come on, let's hope, let's make it six. Come on, guys. I know, I know. I was just saying, like when I posted that, Rich, uh, Chris Brown's reaction was, "It would have been funnier if at the very end it was actually rich with your hair." <laughs> 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 like that would have been a good twist if it was like you and then all of a sudden it turns around and it's rich with the he's not lying that yeah. would have been really good that would have been very good space inside the uh inside the pumpkin that would have been <laughs> i was like we'll have to collaborate on something for next time but yeah i want to see rich um massacre some pumpkins or massacre a watermelon with a sledgehammer and a red dress and a blonde wig because that's gonna be fucking funny um yeah, so it's like I we will, gotta gotta push so we can get that rich experience. If you get six thousand and one, I will do it. Absolutely, hundred <laughs> percent. I will do that, and I'll make sure it's a mini skirt, and I'll wear a thong. <laughs> <laughs> what about, oh my god! Oh, and and and, and fish like stockings. And no. I will. Yeah. Sh and, and and I will shave, shave your my legs. legs for this. <laughs> but don't shave your face. Make sure you're nice and scruffy yeah. with that blonde wig. Oh yeah, Def. I'm gonna have like a big old can, lumberjack can beard on my big old face. <laughs> yes. Can, can, can we uh, wax the legs? Wax. Can we wax them? Fuck no. Mm. Yeah, rip strips of that dude. You know? <laughs> no. We're not waxing anything. <laughs> I can get my. Maybe, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. If you if you get ten thousand. I'll give myself a Brazilian. Please don't 
Oh. I have no it's okay. It's it's like landing a fucking seven sixty seven. You need a land strip that big. There you go. <laughs> so there you go. Right now, please clip it for me. <laughs> I know. I'm like, can we please? I just need that to like live rent free in my brain from now on, Rich. That would be amazing. Like, I cannot wait to see you smash things because that will be hilarious. I, I want to smash seen. things because it's going to be fun. Um, I and just who doesn't like roll. smashing things? Sure, I know. Who doesn't like smashing things? But I just, like, live in destruction, right? I was like, let's create characters. Oh, do you like these characters? I'm going to kill them. Um, I'm going to just smash pumpkins. Like, I'll, I'll be like, okay, who on the street doesn't want their pumpkins anymore? I'll take it. You know? Just smash all the pumpkins. I'm going to play a song from Smashing Pumpkins while I'm smashing pumpkins. Yes! That's yes. a great idea! <laughs> I'm going to do that. World is a vampire. Smash! Make a video of comedy. it. What, Kate? Let's, or he can do some comedy uh, videos of the sledgehammer. The, the woman. <laughs> yeah, it's like we can bring back the Gallagher-esque yeah, comedy. Yeah, you got it. You got it. I was like, ah, this is probably. That, that's not funny. Wait, me in a dress with a thong and shaven legs with a full beard isn't funny enough? I mean, what the hell, there man? Some action. There's going to be action. action. I'm slamming the fucking pap pumpkins. What's wrong with you? Oh, my God. <laughs> it's, a good thing. it's a good thing you're hot. Kate, it's a good thing you're reasonably hot. Otherwise, I'd have to think doubly of you or something like that, man. I'd be like, oh, wow, what's wrong with this chick? Well, yeah, it's going to be right pound, so I want to see some action, dude. Come on. Give it to us. <laughs> Careful what you wish for, my love. You will get it. <laughs> they want to see you pound some pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> she keep talking the way she is. She's going to pound some cucumber in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Toss oh, some Rich, Rich, Rich. Rich, Rich. <laughs> Wow. You know what I'm, I'm gonna sneak up and blast him. <laughs> <laughs> this show woman. is taking Watch quite out. a turn. Oh, she is. Yeah. You know what I'm, I'm gonna sneak up and blast him. <laughs> but that's half the fun. Uh, you're married? I didn't know that. Kate, I'm sorry. No, I'm talking about Lori, not Kate. <laughs> huh? Yeah, fuck? everybody knows you I'm know married. <laughs> I wasn't saying it to Lori. Right, you were saying it to what Kate. What's the matter with you? Well, I'm having Kate. fun, Rich. What's the matter with you? <laughs> you scared the shit out of me when you said that Kate was married. Uh -huh. well, I sounded like Kate was I married. I get you back once in a while. And you're like, what get me back? For what I do to you? All the time, Rich. All the time, Rich. <laughs> I'm eating chocolate. I'm having you're fun. One of the few that's allowed. That's that sounds you? nice. <laughs> Why can't God, we no. be friends? Oh, wait. Why can't we be friends while smashing pumpkins? There you go. No. <laughs> I was going to play Welcome yeah. to the Jungle or Put the Bodies to the Floor. You know where you are? You are the yeah. jungle, We're in the baby. jungle, baby. Smash. You're going to die. Live and let die. <laughs> Smash. Look, we're going to just pull out Guns and Roses it, you know? No, you know what you should play? You should play Loving You by Minnie Ripperton while I'm smashing it. No. Loving you. <laughs> Loving you. <laughs> Smash. <laughs> We're going to go for, like just full out classical music too, like the 1812 Overture and just smash. <laughs> oh, yeah. Definitely. Oh, my God. Oh, it's come on, on, people. Let's get to 6K. I want to do this so bad. Yes, this needs to hey, happen. Come on. Come on. Guys, get like, the 6K. Ride. Get out there. And I mean, I, I don't I mean, know what we else got we got so can much do. cool Good stuff. Life. It's like there's the comic, there's the choose your own adventure. Mm -hmm. We have metal covers. It's rich in a dress. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> it's rich in a dress. Rich in a dress. <laughs> rich in a dress. Rich's cover, which is amazing because it's a poker Kate game. With it Kate with a camera. The what? Mm hmm. <laughs> What'd you say? I didn't hear Kate you, Kate. What you say, baby? I said Kate, Kate with, with the a camera. camera. Kate with the camera <laughs> we watching can have Rich the dress. Oh, but it's going to be live watch. for sure. We're watching Rich do this. I'm just hoping you don't fall over. That, uh, I, I could definitely give a private show to Kate if she wants. So you know. Oh, so. my God. What kind of show are we on right now? I'm, I'm the naughty show oh, where you we, put the we quarter have in. That stage, so. 
<laughs> I'm just going to throw a grenade in, in Tanner's tank and just take over. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm yeah, out. I know. I was like, hey, goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm so glad this? you came back. Where's Doc? Uh, Where's I Doc? Am Doc? Look, I'm right here. Look. Oh, Christ. Doc had to deal with some uh, family stuff and couldn't make it. All right. I hope he's okay. Is he good? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Good. Excellent. Um, how is this? Yeah. In about <laughs> 10 minutes, I have lab. <laughs> Yeah, hot sauce. Now, now I look at it. That looks so good. Oh. I don't. I'm, I'm well, how, how, how hot is it? Hey, can I don't you know. order this online? Like you can get him from online. Chris Brown. He's going through the FDA okay. process, but he has samples. He did a bunch of them, and he did one. He's with going through FDA. Holy shit! Okay. Nice. Yeah, so you can sell them as actual hot sauces instead of like a sample, right? Because you have to get approval yeah. for when you sell food. Um, yeah, huh. that's how we're crazy. But yeah, I'm not I brave enough wait. to try this because he put ghost pepper in it. That's mm. ridiculous. Is he fucking out of his mind? Mm. Does he want people to die? You familiar with the one chip challenge? <laughs> yes. We got the no. new blue ones. Me and my boy are still going. Oh my to, god, uh, how bad are those? One chip challenge? I know what, we're gonna do it this weekend. What is it? It's it's, a, the it's most a one big... chip that has like all the hotness that they can put into it. I think this yeah. year they they have some of the spiciest Carolina Reapers that they have ever had in like the last few years. I did it last year. I didn't know it, find out about it until last year. So we're Holy starting shit. this tradition where, you know, I kill my insides. And Eat the one chip and see eats. if you don't explode. Yeah. Well, you want to try to make it to 10 minutes. That's like God status. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, it really, they, they have it broken down on the back. Like there's, it comes comes with the little you know like chart you know so it's you're supposed to time yourself and film it and yeah i'll put it uh, online uh, hey tanner you want to win it i got a secret okay i'm, okay. I'm all ears all right, i typically i typically do win it but okay I, I i like advantage okay uh at least 24 hours before start eating tums and coat the lining of your stomach with tums <laughs> Stomach, the stomach is only half. How many, yes. many times do you have to eat? How many? It, All of them? It, it depends on his body weight because he's just got a big head to me with a hat. <laughs> <laughs> I actually yeah, got Tanner, a really so small if, head. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, so, Tanner, if you're a real fat bastard, you better eat the whole friggin' roll. But if not, if you're, like, skin, if you're like, skinny like, and shit. Tanner, like 24, 50, how many times are we talking here? <clears throat> It depends on the milligram, so I would suggest about fifteen okay. within within forty eight hours. I mean, chocolate, non pareils, <laughs> non pareils, the milk chocolate non pareils. It's such nice. a weird name for a candy. It doesn't know, right? sound like a candy at all. It doesn't sound appetizing. Non pareils. Yeah, you got yours. Check it out. Hey, all right, you gotta mine? try it. Wait, first oh, of all, do you have a heart? Night. Did you really? Where's mine? Was it good? Um, I know. Do you feel left out too? <laughs> I am left out. Look, he's gonna have some. Ah! Oh no! Lie. I'm waiting for this. Lie. Yes. 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 Do it. Mm -hmm. One drop. Oh, you're out of your mind. Because that's all. You're doing that now. You better have some milk by you. <laughs> that's like two. Okay. Oh. I don't know what's worse. The fact that he's doing that. Or, oh. I don't know what's worse. The fact that he's doing that is putting it on oh. a fucking Pringle. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any good corn chips, but, you know. Oh, man. He's still alive. Hey, hey, Chris. The most More ghost pepper. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Challenge accepted. Challenge. I was. Oh, you beat me to it. Yo, I'm just saying. The I'm only in thing. Arizona, though, I like hot shit. That don't it don't bug me like it does most people. My son. I probably would fall down dead. We so. love hot. Sauce. I would fall down dead. I would. I, I have a huge collection of hot sauces. And um, we, if if they claim insanity? to be hotter, the better. Do you got some insanity in your fridge? Mm -hmm. No, I do. Too. I do. I love that. I, I put that shit in my ramen. Oh, <laughs> that shit is good. Yes. 
God, some of you guys use it as underarm deodorant. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I know, I was like, it's not so much going in, but it's coming back out. Like that's the problem. <laughs> like, well, I don't want my, my booty hole to be burning neither. No, so. my colon hates wow. me. You know, it's that's okay, not though. something I want to envision about oh, Lauren's oh, booty no, hole burning up. No blowouts. No blowouts, Tanner, please. No blowouts, please. I don't think the You know that's going on. Ow. I wasn't going to go into detail. Yes, Rich. You never. I would never think. I would never think of you that way. I would never think of your booty hole that way. Thank you. Um, I am. I. I'm going to shut up now because I was, <laughs> I was like, we could go any which direction with that, but be careful. I have knives. <laughs> I'm not talking about you, my love. I'm talking about another Kate person in this. Yeah. We're Kate. Talk about Kate's there. booty hole. Now let's back up. <laughs> I would, I would worship that. Like the fucking flame I would on. worship that. Like okay. yeah, flame on. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Ding, round over. Take a break, please. I, 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 got, I got something for that. Take a shot. You're watching. I got something. What is that, Pops, that you just bought in? I just Pops, said, how you, uh, Pops, how you feeling with that shit, man? I, it's, dude, that's, I told you, that shit. Oh, my God. More ghost pepper. More. You're a better man than I am. I couldn't tolerate that if I tried. I would die. I'm, I would die. I'm hoping Doc is I would die, too. I'm hoping Doc is watching because I have something for him I want to show to him. I'm afraid. Watching Doc. There's your girl, Doc. It's Linda Carter. Doc loves Linda Carter. He okay, loves Linda Carter. I mean, who doesn't yes, love but... Linda Carter? Um, Linda Carter doing the yeah. splits. Yeah, because he said all is all is he all he remembers is somebody talking about her um, jiggle mm. woman. Jig woman, because of the way she, you know, bounced when she did her Wonder Woman thing. Her, his dad used to say that. I'm like, look, she was way cooler than just Jig a woman. Okay, she could do. Mm. Have I've seen a? Um, I don't know if it was a comic with her and, and Superman, where Superman just gets like hit with the hits with the bullets, and she's using her um, gauntlets, right? Right. And then Superman's like, aren't you impervious to bullets? She's like, yeah. And then she puts her gauntlet down, they're shooting her and her boobs are jiggling and he's and he's like, oh, yeah. okay, I see why. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so she uses that so it's not like, oh, yeah. but she, was just a set, but she was also a very nice set of legs. That was my whole point. You know, yeah, look at never look at it, Linda Carter. A woman is a nice set of legs, man. That's just kind of weird. <laughs> look at that. What's that, Rich? Oh, I don't know. I just read that shit today. I, I didn't sloth expect king. that to pop up. Uh, Manilo, Manilo the Sloth King. You know, I couldn't think of a name, so I picked Barry Manilo. But I decided <laughs> to change yeah, the name like on it. That. Oh, good. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you for uh, deciding to display that. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Yeah, I drew that today, and I'm going to draw something else today, because I have another lab, and I'm going to hang out with the guys, the, the, the kids over here. They're great. Oh, my God, they're so awesome. That's cool. I'm having the time of my effing life so far, but let's hope I don't jinx it or anything. Yeah, you know, don't but, jinx uh, it. <laughs> Fix your hair. Yeah, no, right. All right. I know. Fix my hair. You know, well, it's... <sighs> Kate, I'm going to call you later and I'm going to say really terrible things to you, but you're going to love it anyway. So, because my hair is gorgeous. Leave a voice now. I will. <laughs> I'll leave a naughty one. I'll it's have bad even, words in it. It's even worse if nobody's listening. I'm Kate just, just wants it right. recorded. So I just she can I want play it, it later. She can play it on repeat. That's right. <laughs> That's right. She can play it later and uh, you know, have a private moments listening to my. Listening to my manly man voice and stuff like that. Yeah, I need hair gel just like Ben Siller did. No. You know? <laughs> I was like, don't go there, but you did. Q, you I didn't, I didn't go anywhere. I didn't go anywhere. hair gel. There's eight been people been there. watching. Okay. Eight. Why is the one I know, so Quinn's quiet? just the only one in the chat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, Tanner, I got to know, uh, do you have a great uh, moment in comic history this week? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> well... So hold the up, great I'm, I'm asking. Do you? I, I do. I do. Okay, well, hold on a second.
So, guys, I, guys, uh, guys, 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 I gotta get going. I'm in class now. Okay. Bye. 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 Later, brother. Oh, it's a hair. Oh, no. <laughs> I so, how with many it being the spear of Halloween. Up being up in cage. Never. What? What? Yeah, what? exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, with it being the spirit of Halloween, today's great moments in comic history is the spiritual successor to EC Horror Comics that, that spawned uh, Tales from the Crypt, the Vault of Horror, things of that nature. I wanted to talk about, you guessed it, Warren Magazines. Okay, Warren uh, Magazines put out creepy, creepy... And Eerie, which is a beautiful cover by Von Baudet. Uh-oh. <clears throat> and probably their most recognizable, memorable, and iconic. And Dynamite, this is your source material, so get it right. Vampirella. He said, this is your source material, get it right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at this. So these these came out in the 60s and went all the way into the 80s. Um, a lot of these that I have here from the 60s and 70s. Um, these brought amazing artists like San Julian, Esteban Morado. Um, oh, my gosh. We could just go on and on and on. These beautiful black and white magazines dedicated To horror. For example, let's see, what can I show here? Beautiful Jose Gonzalez artwork here. That is badass. Look at that. Showcasing a lot of this. But basically, Warren Magazine is great for the fact that they created, well, not only the most memorable character, Vampirella, but to carry on that tradition that, you know, came before them. So that, in a nutshell, is my great moment in comic history. As I put away my stuff here. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. You know, I really enjoyed that intro. There was a lot of really memorable and cool stuff, you know, with comics history that's shoved into that intro. I was like, wow, you just hit all the things. So kudos to whoever made that intro. Doc? the Doc do it? Yeah, I think it was Doc. Always Doc. Yep. Always, <laughs> always. Thank you. Doc. Yeah, we... <laughs> Sorry, I've got a lot of this stuff. Big fan. I want to take my picture and turn it to Jock. Well, does it, Doc Sorry. doesn't want to see what's in my mouth right now, so. <laughs> a pass. <laughs> oh, good God, dare we ask? <laughs> oh, you never know with me. You never know. <laughs> Yeah. All right, with it being uh, top of the hour, why yeah. don't we take a break and pay some bills? With them. We do want to do some memes? Yes, we'll do some memes when we come back. I'm ready. Do it. All right. Oh, who's yeah, pushing the buttons? You need me to push the buttons? Is, is and, the push the button? and the monkey pushes the button. <laughs> you want I was like, who's pushing the buttons? Am I supposed to be playing commercials? Is that what you're asking? Me? Yes, please. Okay. Let's start with Ooh, this one. Nice there's only a few hours it. left. Y'all go check out Six Gun Gorilla. Get the trade. Get nine and ten on yeah. Zoop, yo. On Zoop. Kid. But they 
is a secret history to the Old West. One that seems too strange to be true, but... Well, we all know what they say about the truth. finally ready to hear the story of the strangest, the most startling western hero of them all. The original intention of the film was just for my personal use, but I thought with it being such a unique thing that I'd like to offer it to anybody who wants to see it. Things like that. And it's just a unique film of him. He says, I beat you. He says, they say we came in under the dead of heat. He says, that's not true because I beat you. And the American said, well, he says, if you like to think so, he says, but I know a real story. He says, I, he says, I, I know I clearly won that one. All right. Thank you. And we're back. <laughs> so now <Stretch>. <laughs> let, let's move on to our wonderful memes of the week. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. I know what everyone's been waiting for. I know, right? You want what? what? <laughs> that was a great intro too doc always cracks me up man those wrestling dudes with the ceremonial music nice <laughs> pops do you got the uh the memes that i sent you got got that thing i sent you <laughs> you know that thing the thing the you know you know the thing, <laughs> the thing. Get that thing I sent you. there we go <laughs> Some people in the morning, me. <laughs> Order me, darling. <laughs> I blow you up. That's me. <laughs> totally me. Oh, man. Disney, teaching you not to talk to strangers unless they're cute. <laughs> hey and it's not rich this morning <laughs> oh no 
<laughs> He's not even here to defend himself. I know. <laughs> People will be bashing. And I'm like, what do you guys say about me when I'm not here? Dang. There is I'm... no defense for that, though. <laughs> <laughs> See? And there's many in chat that agree. See the hair draw comment? You know, nice the stories. But they're all My about stories. You. Of course. That's why I like them. I, I chose this one because I'm a vegetarian, <laughs> and that, that just really defined me. <laughs> now, if anybody has memes and they want to come out and share them with us, now is the time when you know, the StreamYard link has been dropped, and you can come share your memes. Mute naked girl on a beach? Seems legit. I'll put a ring on it. <laughs> <laughs> I will what's that what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> There's two types of rings I'm thinking of right now. <laughs> so which one? Wow! <laughs> oh! Okay. Oh, <laughs> you can't do that. I did 19 Nate years in the very much in the gutter today. My brain, I did 19 years in the military. My brain is always in the gutter. I can take that south so you. quick. <laughs> oh my goodness. It reminds me of a secret Santa we did in recruiting one time. Ooh. Oh, Rings yeah. For someone, everyone. someone got a ring, all right. <laughs> is it safe to ride? Has a tiger for a pet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> Continue, please. I don't know. I don't know about this Aladdin guy with the flying carpet. <laughs> Man and tiger. Tiger. I love the faces mm. they picked for it too, where they're both like, hey. Eh? <laughs> 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 and I saw it immediately too. <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course you did. You zoned in and right on him. <laughs> Steven, Steven Seagal. <laughs> Is that Russia mine, in the background? Mine, mine, mine. That's what I see. Treasure, also, treasure, bad martial treasure. arts. Treasure, treasure. <laughs> Steven Anybody Seagal. else? Anybody else? Oh, I, I mean, I have one, but I can't. How do, do I it. get I can't pictures do it. there? I posted a bunch on my Facebook recently. <laughs> you can't or you won't. Say what? He said he's got a bunch, but he, he can't. And I said, you can't or you won't. Oh. <laughs> no, no, I cannot. They're, you know. <laughs> Here, I found one. How about this? Let me see. It's like, how do we get them? I kind of like this one. It's kind of funny. Because, <laughs> you know. Well, where the hell did it go? I just posted a bunch about, like, my choose your own adventure. It's not funny if I say them. I got to. How do you. How are you putting them up there, Pop? It's like, how do I. I just put it in the overlay. Oh, okay. You know. I mean, it makes it much easier. And you just delete them later, bang. Here's one. Gotcha. Being an old timey doctor would rule. Just drunk as hell. Like, yeah, you got ghosts in your blood. <laughs> you should do cocaine about it. Kind <laughs> 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 of sounds like today's doctors, do you know, I'm telling you. Uh, yeah. See, that's what I say. I kind of like that one. Like I would have That's thrived sweet. in the eighteen hundreds. I'm telling you, like yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Tanner, secret elixir. Step right up. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not snake oil. <laughs> I'll make you famous. <laughs> not give Hold me on, I'm gonna grab some. <laughs> Find hardly any good ones, man. You had an hour. Come on, Lori. Get get with the program. I, I usually don't get put the, the memes program. up. You know what I mean? Um, I'm usually the one that just like watches the memes and enjoys them from afar and chuckles. I know. <laughs> 
I just so make sorry, you're gonna get my, my uh, warped sense of uh, sense of humor here. You just get well, my uh, imagination. That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> I like your imagination, Kate. Thank you. I mean, everything. Oh, I so say you said that to Kate. Little... Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, we don't I like, like your ima- I like no, your imagination. No, no. Yeah, back into that now. Sorry. <laughs> well, Kate said, you know, we get her imagination. So. <laughs> this is true. All right, one more, and then that I will put this now. Are either too cringe, or too fucking over the edge. Mm, cringe. Or, well, it is Halloween. <laughs> no, when I say cringe, you know what I mean. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, I know you do. Major wrestling. You do. What's up, y'all? Hey, yeah. your mic works. It's been a while. Hey. Maybe you can look at this. Hey. Get, get the oil. Get the oil. Get the ring. Get the ring. <laughs> If it can't be dis- destroyed by the truth, it deserves to be s- destroyed by the truth. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't do that one. Uh, Apparently, it won't let me do that one. Do you have a Ever. moment to talk about our Lord and Savior, Crom? Have you heard the word of Crom today? <laughs> Jehovah's Cromanites. <laughs> here's, some, here's something so stupid that Q shows up to tell you how pathetic humans are. <laughs> Q is here. Look. What are you working on? So, yeah. I know, that's not always the question. What are you looking on? What are you working ah, on? What are you working on? Namor. Namor and Atuma. And, and Namor and then there's Atuma in the background. And, and, and they're just snorkeling chrome. <laughs> nice. With that, see, with that smoking that cigarette. Smoke coming out of the snorkel, Tanner? You like that? I like that. The smoke coming out of the snorkel? <laughs> yeah. 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 I thought it was gas. Blowing <laughs> <laughs> oh, some bubbles out the rear end. He had a little too much path of the pill sauce. So, yeah, this I've been teasing people about playing the Choose Your Own Adventure because, like, every no one's made it through without dying in the first half um so it's like what it's what it's like to play the choose your own adventure i broke my leg don't worry man it's sure it's all part of god's plan shit he's still alive time for plan b (laughs) 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 don't worry through this one i'll kill you later just keep playing (laughs) (laughs) then we got uh this is just my sense of humor. Sorry, I'll let you push the button. Look, <laughs> like okay. after you work out, you work out too hard and you sneeze after abs. Oh my god, I know, right? What it feels like that's an out of body experience. <laughs> man, I'm getting old and I sneezed. You gonna do another one? Do it. Oh. Put two oh, drops no. this do time. It. Do it. Two drops, do two it. Drop. Do it. Do it. Come on. Come on. Do it. Do it. Do it. It's all in the way. It's a smiley face. Yeah, Yeah, it kind of looks like a smiley face. Eat me. Eat me. Eat me. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, he's spreading around. Spreading around. It's Mr. Bean. It's Mr. Bean now. Swallow it. Swallow it. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Blame on. That's a two-inch chip there. I'm proud of you, Pops. Way to it go. just shrugs. <laughs> shrugs me. It is what it is. Good. Okay. But it needs more ghost pepper. No, no. I think it's okay. I think I might actually try it now that I see you not having a reaction. <laughs> if I see people having like a bad response to it, I probably won't try it no, ever. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> It does. It's not like it's not what I was thinking it was gonna be. I was hoping we were yeah. gonna have some flame coming out the ears and shit. But it's good. It has a good flavor. Yeah, I think he did mostly just regular chili peppers and then added some. Cause I mean, ghost peppers are freaking expensive. No, he said oh, yeah. ghost pepper in it. He said he told me that. Well, he put in ghost pepper, yeah, but he put in other stuff too. And I need more. I need more. 
Sound like Britney Spears. <laughs> give me, give me more. Give yes. me more. See? Give me, Wendy give knows. me more. <laughs> Here's my last one. Look. Uh, uh, Zombie apocalypse. Expectation, you? Reality. Reality. <laughs> it's the zombie. Back to you. That's yep. me and Lori and Christy and Tanner. <laughs> <laughs> on top of the RV? That's yeah, me on top of the yeah, RV. Yeah. I said, up on top of yeah. the RV. Everybody who gets to Lori, play the Christy Choose Your Adventure. Everybody Sorry. that has you a wedding. You guys want to hear a, a little no, inter interesting fact? Yeah. Everybody we, that has a weapon within reach of them right now would be on top of that thing. And everybody who doesn't would be a zombie. <laughs> that makes me a zombie. <laughs> Wait, let me borrow a weapon. I need my lipstick. Hold on. <laughs> Which one, Revlon or Maybelline? <laughs> Maybe she's born with it. Mac, baby. Mac, baby. Get it right. Hairspray and lighter works. Ladies, hairspray Mac. and lighter works. Math? Yes. Math. So do like hair pit. <laughs> Mac. Oh. M-A-C. Yeah, Mac is M-A-C, Mac. Mm -hmm. Get it right, Tanner. <laughs> I'll throw you a message in a bottle in your tank. A message? <laughs> I'll shove it up your tailpipe. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Tanks don't have Kate. a tailpipe. I like you. I like Kate. Yeah, hey, we're friends. Got a blowhole. Got a blowhole. <laughs> <laughs> I can see the way. Kate's my new best friend. She's my spirit animal. <laughs> <Hank>. <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> I'm excited. Welcome to Kate's world. Yes, please. How dare you? <laughs> what were you going to say, Tanner? You were going to say something. Um, he got nothing. He don't got nothing. <laughs> I mean, I, I whispered that. Tanks don't have tailpipes, but <laughs> no, you were gonna say something before that. You were gonna say like, "Hey, you want to hear something?" Oh, oh, because there's that picture of uh, John Bernthal. I was like, a, a "Yeah," little known fact about me. Um, I pissed him off like six, seven really? years ago. You don't um, say at, at Wizard World? Or, no, not Wizard World. Uh, God, what are they called? The uh, Motor City Con. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, What'd well, you do? did you touch him? What? So, well, I, I saw him walk. I was, you know, it was towards the end of the con. I had, and, you know, talking about cons, I had conned the United States Army into allowing me to set up a table there um, so that, you know, I could meet comic book professionals and celebrities and all that stuff. And I said, it would be great PR for the Army. Um, <laughs> and uh, so then I see him there. And I knew that he, I, I, I knew him from, well, he would, he had been in Fury and then what, the first season of, of Walking Dead before they, they snuffed him out. But I heard that he was going to be the Punisher. So I was like, okay, yeah. he played a tanker and he's playing my favorite character. And so I see him walk by. And so I'm like, I, but I couldn't remember his name. So I'm like, that's the dude that plays the Punisher, right? To his little entourage. And the guy's like, you know, kind of like nods a little bit. And uh, so I'm like, hey, hey, Punisher, come on, man, just, just just a picture. And he's like, no, I don't, I don't have time. You know, I just want to get something for my kids. I'm like, which is cool. But how many people are going to believe that, you know, I met the Punisher, yeah. you know, without a picture? <laughs> you know, <laughs> this is the United States Army here. It's all about, uh, you know, show me. So I'm like, hey, Punisher. Oh, God. <laughs> oh man. Shit. He, he did. He turns around so fast, arm in the air, and then he sees me in uniform. And that turns from the fist into an outreach shake. Oh, you're so <laughs> lucky. You're so lucky you were in that uniform. 
I was this is God on his truth. Like he can't deck a, someone in a uniform and get away with that. Like he <laughs> would lose some deals for that, right? So he made a quick decision, but Jesus, yeah, that I was can't. a good day for you. Where you like, it was a good day. <laughs> so he did. He did snap a picture real quick. He's he's frowning in it and not very happy with me. But, uh, <laughs> oh shit. But I do have a picture with John Bernthal. Cool. You just like it because you was wearing camouflage. We yeah. just see I was it. like, oh yeah. shit, that's you not cosplay. Thank God his wits were working too, because he would have been like, Nope, you lost your we would have had a totally different punisher. Yeah. And it was, uh, like you just hit a serviceman, you're fired, you know? Ooh. You could have changed press. history, Tanner. Bad press. That's wow, be, that's crazy. That would be a, a that would be a long as um deadline for making the Punisher series if that would yeah. happen. <laughs> I uh, I, I love John Bernthal. I, I think he's a great actor. Yeah. <laughs> you know? He looks like he don't for... take no nonsense, though, man. No, no, he doesn't. Uh, but he, I gave it to him, and uh, re really in the nicest way. I, I just, okay. I just, you know, wanted to meet the man playing the Punisher. You know. Yeah. I, I met like, Dolph Lundgren. Dance, so. This is it, right? Yeah. After uh, you know? I, yeah. Exactly. It was like this is closed. it. You know, I was like, if I don't, like, you know, it was a go, it was a go for the gusto moment. You know, it was like, mm -hmm. go big or go home, right? But I couldn't mm -hmm. remember his name. You know, go camouflage. <laughs> you know, <laughs> well, like I said, he had only. That's you know, I was part. like, shit. And that doesn't like, even know my name. He's calling me. I was the like, punisher. he played. He played he that asshole in, in. Well, he he did. he played the biggest asshole in uh in the Walking Dead. So I was like, he was that mm -hmm. asshole in the Walking Dead. And then he was a tanker in Fury, which is badass because I am a tanker, you know, or was, you know, was at the time. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and I was like, and then I heard he's going to be the Punisher. And, you know, what do we slap on all of our stuff? We symbols of, you know, the Punisher logo everywhere. You yeah. know, I was like, it doesn't get any more military than that. You know, so I was like, oh, man, I got to shake this guy's hand, take a picture, something, you know. <laughs> yeah, I almost got his hand you know in my my face <laughs> it's funny some people are hired for roles because they can actually act and other people are hired for the roles because that's who they really fucking are you know what i mean yeah, true. some people can wear camouflage uniforms and get away with it sure <laughs> dang <laughs> glenn fleming hello glenn fleming i glenn, am doc today wait glenn. wait glenn I got something for you. Ready? Rich, rich, rich. Ooh, I like that cue. There you go. I'm one, Doc uh, today. Max, I like that. Over there at Atrocity Press. Don't punish, punish yourself. Grab a copy of Human Hunters. I like the jacket. Uh -huh. Cool. The jacket's going to be black, right? Yep, it's uh -huh. always going to be black. This is the Punisher. Yeah, you got to. Heck yeah. And see the belt. Notice, notice the belt book that says "Pray." <laughs> <laughs> Say your prayers. <laughs> okay. I ha I have a caption. Your own meme. Are you guys ready? Mm. Uh. Caption this. America. What you doing, Paul? Fucking Target won't shoot itself. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, I come stand by the pole? I, I think I just said it all. Really? It looks yeah, like I mine. think you did. <laughs> the pole worked for me. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have another one because the thing that destroys all collaborations, all great collaborations, is usually ego. We are all Nero. Mm -hmm. Emperors of our own ego, fiddling while the rest of the world burns. <laughs> Rise above it, Nero. Nero. <laughs> I will survive. I will never. <laughs> I keep on moving. Hold up. I got to put it back up. There you go. <laughs> 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 
That's the caption. That's funny. Mm, that would be funny. Yeah, my lawn. <laughs> Give me some. More I watched caps. that the other night. Give me more yeah. captions for that one. I want. I want more captions. Show me. Come on, chat. Bring it. That's what I'm saying. Come on. I just. Captions. Oh, I just send the memes to Pop. No, no. Is I just want memes? captions for this one right there in the chat, so we can pop them up there. Uh. Now watch Lori do silence i say silence like together right here we go i lip you now that's me up there that's me i'm up there see hey Pew pew here yeah. often. <laughs> nice. Hey, sexy. Up nine down one. <laughs> I get that. <laughs> I do know, but that's right. <laughs> All you need is some new glass now. Pew pew, glass. Pew pew. Bit of pew pew. <laughs> so what do we? What else do you have? Is that pretty much your show, guys? That is pretty much the show. You see that? I gotta go bake cookies today. Hey, what kind of cookies? Uh, I make. Reason. I make the best sugar cookies. Like nice. sugar cookies that just like they're soft. They they just melt in your mouth. They just they just, they're amazing. Oh. I make my own royal icing. So I'll ice the top. And I have these um, what you call it? I'm not making special cookies because I'm taking them to Cowtown and handing them to the artists. That would be pretty fucking funny though if I made special cookies and didn't tell them when really they're all high should. at the god. <laughs> that would be a little right. bit illegal. Do not do it. Yeah. And we're in Texas. Brown no. cookies. Brownies. <laughs> brownies. Brownies. Mm. Yeah, no, oh, yeah, that brownies. Would be a different time. Brownies. That would be a different time. But so I'm making sugar cookies this time and I have little uh Halloween decorations. I have little um what do you call it? Templates. That you can like paint stuff on. So nice. I'll be make, taking sugar cookies to a bunch of artists so they will hopefully draw variant covers for me at some time. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lori. Here's cookies. Remember me. <laughs> 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 I do Path of the Pale Rider. Do you want to draw some yeah. gore? <laughs> Lori, Lori, I do not have anything other than the pumpkin thing in the studio. I, I put the I put the commercial in there. Where? Oh, you just put it in? Okay. Thanks. Yeah, I put it in. I want to make sure I play that before the show's over. And I was like, Yeah, we can I can also load <laughs> if you guys want to watch the short film, I can put that in there too. <laughs> um, you can put whatever you want in there. We're gonna play them on our way out. That's all I'm saying. This Mando. is true. Um, let's go to short films. We got I'm I'm gonna play the like the bottom three that are in there right now, or the yeah. two of the bottom three, we already played the pumpkin. I'm gonna play them. Uh, can't, can't put conspiracy up. theory because I didn't save it in the right <clears> format. <throat> so there's that. All right, well I'm gonna play this one while you're getting that. Oh, uh, well, I have to go right save back. it. Cancel. We'll be right back. Persons under 18 will not be admitted. What's up, everybody? This is Jeff and Ben. Well, I'm talking with the dead. And still talking with. And still talking with. Still talking with is our live show. Yes. You can catch that every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Eastern. That's yes. Eastern. Yeah, oh, yeah. We're yeah. in fucking California. It's got to be three. No, four. Four? Yeah. They're only three hours behind. What about daylight saving? Yeah, well, fuck that. We'll worry about that one. Okay, so if you're on the West Coast, you're going to have to look up when 6 o'clock is out there compared to here. Which would be actually 7 o'clock out there instead of here. 7 o'clock? Yeah. You know, before this is over, I'm going to need a whole lot of serious therapy. 
You're all fucked up today. Another dollar for the swear jar. I'm always fucked up. <laughs> you should tune into the show and see really how fucked up I can get. Oh yeah. Well, opinions are like assholes. Everybody has one. Our boys Ben and Jeff from over there at stilltoken.com from the Dorkening Network. If you see a lot of shows popping up here on the Madness Comic Network that you've never seen before and they're coming from the Dorkening, those are the people that we're aligning with to grow this network, you guys. We're trying to build something for real here. So, you know, don't freak out. Not every show is going to be for everybody, you know. Um, Watch you the find show. what you like, you subscribe, and there you watch go. The shows that you like, you go watch somebody else's show if there's something on you ain't with. Um, I'm I'm trying to build something bigger than uh, the title pools we all been swimming in. I'm just saying. So, you know, roll with us. We got we got this. Those guys are cool. Mine, Ben and Jeff are cool as hell. You know, um, gonna go meet them in a couple weeks. Yes, indeed. Hell yeah. All set for that. So um, what else do we got? Did you load us up, Lori? It's take it I'll takes a minute to, to render it. I just save it in a different format. It's coming. I got the short commercial, just the oh. POPTR. Um, that's there. Let can me I see. just show it from your page? Yeah, I mean, we can do that. We can show it right from the freaking Kickstarter. There's that yeah. imp and yeah. Fox is there too. Which one would um, you want Santa. me to show? From the yeah. <laughs> which one do you want me to show? Eh? I've seen it. The W D E D. Yeah, let's show that, that one's a good one. That's the one I want to show first. Yeah. If you guys have not seen this, this is freaking great, and this is why we love Lori because she, she's multi-talented. She goes outside the box with her with her whole campaign. Um, everybody say hi to her husband. Okay. Hey. Good evening. Thank you for joining us on Channel 13 WDED. I'm Lewis Landon. As you know, we've been following this crisis as it develops. And now we'd like to go live to Ali Brock on location, talking to you, the viewer, on what you think caused this horrific crisis. Ellie, good evening. And how are you? Hello, Lewis. How are you? I'm here on location today. We're going to walk the streets and see what people have to say. Hello. Thank you for joining me this afternoon. You got it. What do you think broke the death box? The witches. It's the cats. You know, if I had to pick one thing, it'd be the aliens. Aliens? Yeah, aliens. I, where did they come from? Um, outer space. Why do you think the death process is broken? I can tell you. It's that damn sugar. That's a good question. A lot of you are going to say the government. I know, in fact, most of you are going to say the government. I think it's I the government. No comment. Do you want to talk about what you think broke the death process? No. <laughs> Sir. What? Sir, do you have a second? I'd like to ask you a question. Yeah. It has to be Anthony Fauci. None of this is the reason death was broken. I honestly think it's vaccines. What's causing the undead and what, what's causing the human form to turn into the undead. And it's not just death. You think about it, this makes sense. No comment. Wait, are you saying we can't die? I think it's the food that we eat. It's in our candy. I'm not answering no questions. Is it even real? What? <laughs> what? Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. I bet it's the cats. I know it's the cats. 
Everything is genetically processed now. So GMOs. Remember the pygmies? I think they're back. No fucking comment. It's the nanotech technology. A pale horse. And he who sat upon it was dead. Can you elaborate? Look, man, I don't know. Back off. Maybe this is all just, just a really bad trip. People, I think you guys are all at fault. The media, the government, Big Pharma. <laughs> you guys know who did this, and I won't stand for it. No comment. It's in our coffee. <laughs> we can't die? Well, I mean, your body dies. So where can people go to find this information? Go Google. That's what I think it is. Like, specifically yogurt? Not the yogurt. It's in our drinks. Can you be more specific? Is there a cure? I don't think so. Honestly, I think there's a colony of pygmies, and I think they have they they are out casting voodoo spells. And that blueberry's got me real concerned. It's in the brisket. Yes. It's in the it's barbecue. In the brisket. Look Did, around you. How many deaths do you hear about? A lot right now. So of course it was the witches. They're the smartest people in the world. <laughs> Kenny G. He 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 must have given me some bad stuff. It's just that I don't die. Your body dies, but it, yeah, you stay in it while you decay. It's sugar. Don't believe everything you hear. It's absolutely organic. Just the meat, barbecue, and barbecue. the water, and the water, and the vegetables. That's the limits of life. It's McDonald's. McDonald's broke death. Um, and the reason I say that is if you think about it, their food don't actually burn. Their food was designed to be consumed by the dead. But see, if you take it, then you die. So it's the consumption of eating the food that only is made for that that do not die. You get what I'm saying? It's McDonald's. Trust what I'm telling you. It's McDonald's. This is a bad trip. Crazy. It's crazy stuff. I'm going to go rob a bank. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know why the dead don't fucking die. Look at me. Look at me. Put the phone. Put the phone. And there you have it. We've spent all day asking people what they think there's some truly wild accusations out there and let me say we really have no idea <laughs> go to commercial is she okay somebody call 911 There you have it. Badass. Um, Co-op is a bang. Ken, yeah. I, yeah. I want to teach you a little <laughs> right here right now. Um, <laughs> everything after the question mark on a link is ad and spyware and shit, dude. You don't have to share that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When you're copying a link, you stop before the question mark. Don't put all that other crap up there. It don't, it's not needed. You still there. You go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, what is this giant link, Tana? <laughs> <laughs> it was the wrong one. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It just cracks me up. And Lori, like, and Lori you were driving, girl. <laughs> was I? <laughs> that would be hard to be in two places at once. My husband got to run me over. Is what happened. Oh. Then he took it out on Tanner to his payback. <laughs> oh, look at the face. Oh, yes. <laughs> he lives his best life. It's like in my she welcome video, he got to shove me she off of a freaking pool. Um, we have fun. He gets to he gets to participate in all the shenanigans I can think of. Oh, and I'm already writing the next short film. I'm gonna need like four or five volunteers for that one to to shoot stuff. So well, if you're interested you in being in the next one, it's a scary to, one. Um, me up. Do I have repeat characters or do I have to dress up differently? You, you, nope, you can just dress up as yourself. There's no lines, but you have to follow specific instructions of how I want it shot. So if you can Ooh. do that, then people, um, 
I need like four or five volunteers for the next one. I got you. Uh, I'll do it. Cool, cool. I mean, Send I had to ideas, <laughs> okay. ideas because of the stuff that I couldn't pull out here. You know? Yeah, I know. I mean, like that, that with the thing in the back, that was really good. That was really good, Pops. That was, like, it, I told her, I was like, man, somebody needs to walk up to the camera and be a total denier. And when they turn and walk, turn around and walk away, they got like a knife sticking out their back and they're actually a dead person. You know? <laughs> but the part that you, the only part that re I really wanted there that I didn't get was, oh, my back itches. And when he turned to walk away, like, yeah, like didn't they can't that. reach that spot where the knife is, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but I just added my like, oh my god, like as they're walking away. So, but yeah, it's it like was don't hold the ideas, people. If you can't make them happen, giving them give them to somebody who can. Yeah, that's what you do. You do. Um, that's my uncle, just, by the way. <laughs> oh yeah. Cool. Well, thanks. Well, thanks. Like, I a picture him yeah. like standing there, to, like a picture of his back, and they're in like they're in Grand Rapids. Um, so they're just you know downtown and it's <laughs> just down there, it's just like well, shit, sticking out the back. Here, we could have done something together, that would have been even funnier. Oh, man, man. I didn't know it was up here. <laughs> yeah, well, they're yeah, they're in Grand Rapids. I think they're by Lansing, actually. They were in Grand Rapids or something. Um, but yeah, I mean that's where most of my family is. They're in Michigan. Um, so I don't yeah. know why nobody um, calls me. I am such a happy person. I really am. <laughs> I'm okay, drinking, tell I'm drinking where all. you are, how they can find you so that they can yeah. find you. Yeah. Well, I don't have a wrench and dock, so I can't drop my linky link. You don't have a wrench in docks. We'll no, go over to mine okay. and I'll give you a wrench in mine. Put it in the private chat. Doc can put it in. Yeah. I don't think Doc is here. I'm sorry, Pops. My brain. I'm, I'm just. I'm Doc. I'm Caden. I'm Caden Orlando. And YouTube. That's it. And you see footage of me getting flooded and fishing in the street. So and other videos. So I did the coverage of the uh, Falcon Nine, and then I heard some interesting things and did a breaking news report. And I, I think you'll find that hilarious. And I bring you the news, and I bring laughter, and I bring eagerness to meet, meet artists and comic books and get to know them behind the product and just mingle and jingle and wiggle and sing. Hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, okay. You, know. you, can, you can take me down now. I'm done. <laughs> well, I'm going to put your link up in here first, then I'll take you down. See that? Okay, I'm, I'm flashing you. I'm flashing you. Boom. Boom, I'm flashing. Flash it. Flash it. Flash it. Flash Woo! You can go subscribe to Kate's channel. Right there. Go check it out. Cool. Okay, now I'll take it down. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Jew, where they can find you, buddy? You can always find me in this particular channel. As always, the Madness Comic Network. The correct answer. You could always find me in the madness. You see what I'm saying? Um, always, always. Our stand-in co-host, um, Doc Calcaterra. What's up, Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm Lori Calcaterra. If anybody doesn't know me, that, that that's crazy because I've been all over the place in the I know, last right? thirty days. It's ridiculous. <laughs> um, I am all over the place. So I'm on Facebook group, Path of the Pale Rider. Um, Instagram at half of the pill rider with an underscore between the words um, at same handle for TikTok. I'm on Twitter at path pale rider. I've got a website, www.pathofthepalerider.com. Um, I'm on the network as well. Um, I'm in the comic related madness group. Uh, you can see me just about everywhere, but I have a show on Tuesdays. Tanner's usually there. Pops is there. Sometimes, you know, we just have a whole crew of people that will show up and we heard each other like cats when we see something shiny. Um, <laughs> yeah. Tuesday morning brew from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you can catch us there while we talk about shiny things or whatever project people are working on. Um, Quentin's usually there as well, drawing, and we get to all marvel at his skill. So I'm enjoying great. watching him drawing. He's mm -hmm. really good. 
It's like if you Thank get bored you. listening to what we're talking about, you can see Quentin draw. Sometimes Rich will draw, or I can do like butterfly knife tricks, whatever you want to see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm Tanner Hurley. You can find me here on the Madness. You know, every every Thursday in the tank. In the tank, you know. <laughs> um, I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. I'm on TikTok. I'm all over social media. Uh, we're Apothic Press. Uh, right now, we've got uh, the Second Chance going on for Ren on Indiegogo. So, if you're interested, check out the link that was posted. Um, get yourself a, a copy of Ren. She loves pops. She's a big supporter of Crom. Um, Crom is hidden in there. So, you know, check it out. And he wears camouflage and he has a metal behind yeah. him. Yeah. Time, yeah. Anything at our table at a con. First time anybody ever drew anything for us at table at our con. It was Tanner. Very cool, Tanner. His girl. Right. Is that a dark board? It looks like holes in there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I keep I keep some stuff right here handy because you know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, psycho! Really? I mean, there's there's holes in it. <laughs> he said holes. <laughs> 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 draw stream he'll be out here is our stream eric boyd at two o'clock um tomorrow i'm not sure if we have a gaming show or not we'll know in a little while if you see a, a notification pop up everywhere you know we'll be playing tomorrow at 11 a.m do it demoing a different game i think we were talking about um mansions of madness or I'm something sure. like that She's um mad. you know so if you like to play tabletop games, it's like Chris sets it up so that we can all play. We have a good time. Look, there's one of Chris's games right there. Right there. I keep trying to beat this sucker. I haven't beat it yet. I need to yeah. do it again. I like yeah. to play in my these, closet. He has these what? I like to play in my closet. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're here, yo. Um, Lori, Lori. Never mind. She's yes. like, I'm I'm just, I was just saying, like, he keeps having these cards in there that it's like you start doing really well and it just wipes off all the stuff that you've added. So, like, there's one I got hit by a van and had basically like a, um, a yard sale. Like, all these things I had attached to give me advantages, all gone. Um, and then there was this other card where it's like I was doing really well and this cult card came and it was like, take all your stuff down a level and I lost one of my dice and I was like, Oh my God. And then I think I, I got killed shortly after that. The first time I got eaten by a pack of dogs, the second time I got eaten by zombies, I think. So, so it's like playing gone hunting against Fanta. Ouch. <laughs> well, she kills oh. all the it could what? be that she way playing in my closet. She gets all the miss cards so that she can make you miss. <laughs> She get um um she gets all the rolls, you know, your rolls are misses, you know. Um, yeah, uh playing gone hunting against Fanta is like, okay, we're just gonna play so Fanta can win. Cause I don't know if Chris just rolls for her or what, but <laughs> you see me rolling and hating. <laughs> yeah, and, and then tomorrow night we have the Eagle Rider. You know, Sorry. tomorrow night at seven o'clock, Eagle Rider be out. But tomorrow is also the three year anniversary of the comic look related madness. So Woo! I can be in and out all day um, doing stuff. You never know, right? I mean, it's going to be our birthday. We're going to see what's up. Eric, yeah, I was just talking about him. He'll be out here at two o'clock drawing. You cool. Know. You guys come out here and check it out. Um, and don't freak out. Like I said, when you need see some shows up on the network that you've never seen before, you know, it's like, give them a try. If they're not for you, don't worry about it, man. We still got all the stuff that we got. You can still hit yeah, out on the Tuesday morning. Madness. We're not you going got anywhere. what you need. Yeah, well, <laughs> you, you, you need it's, to make It's going to be really hard to get 24 hours worth of content a day. 
with the same six people. We need to bring in more peeps. Yeah, it's got to spread all the way across, man. It has to be a huge ass um, collaboration of people. They got a bunch of shows already. We got a bunch of shows already. We want to make make bigger. He's doing sign language. I need to have him put like a, a little face on his thumb so I can read him. Doc's gonna get mad if we stay out here too long. He'll be like, I don't want to do two hour shows. Okay. Bowie. So. Yeah, I gotta go bake some cookies, people. I gotta go bake. All right. Cookies. All right, Chat, Thank it was so a much. wonderful seeing you all. Yes, always. Y'all gonna have a great day. <laughs> We're gonna play stuff. Heck yeah. Peace. Later. How do you end this thing? How do you put the where there was the brakes on this bus? I forgot. Jazz hands. Drive. Jazz hands are good. Comic Books for Kids provides comic books to kids in hospitals and cancer centers across the U.S. It's a place where we can all work together to make sure every child has a comic book. 100% of all proceeds go towards the kids. It's about making a difference, and while they're in the hospital, allowing them to fly like a superhero, battle dragons, or rescue teddy bears. We are in every state in the country and now support over 160 hospitals. Every month, we add more.